We're back. We are back. Well, once again this year, Almost Live is proud to present a forum for the insights, the issues, and the ideas of our staff scientist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a great entertainer, a great humanitarian, and my personal friend for over 35 years, Bill Nye, the science guy. Let's bring him See ya. Nice to be seen, John. Wow. Bill, what do we have here? Oh, it's just a newspaper article. Uh, it just appears to be the, uh, the front page of the arts and entertainment section of the Seattle Times. Yeah. That was mentioned briefly there. Brief mention of you, yeah, last week. I don't, yeah, I've seen, I haven't really seen one like this around the office, though. This one's kind of floppy. Yours are all laminated, I noticed, up next to your desk. <laughs> but what of that? Let's dispense of that. But, Bill, I noticed in the studio uh, when we came in that there was this apparatus here, and so I became intrigued. What, uh, what have you got going here? Indeed there is, John. Uh, you know, I get uh, cards and letters weekly. I get faxes uh, all the time. People will say to me, okay, suppose I was in an elevator, a person uh -huh. was in an elevator, were in an elevator, okay. and uh, all the safety systems failed, and the cable okay. broke simultaneously, and then I am plummeting to my death. Right, okay. Could I save myself? Could one save oneself by, by jumping? jumping. Okay. Just that last one. Just the last one, okay. Well, I'm glad this is your topic for tonight because I have to admit this is a question that's fascinated me uh, ever since I was a kid. I was I'm always glad I, I didn't have to test this hypothesis, but I think, you know, I was secretly, I kind of wanted to. So I'm, I'm interested. Is this going to work? Yeah, well, John, we have, we have just the device to test this. This is uh, an elevator. Uh huh. And uh, this will be your counterweight. Very nice. This is your elevator, the car here. And uh, we're going to place a, a volunteer here uh, in the elevator. Okay. This oh, uh, no. this volunteer's name, I think, is uh, Al. Uh, Alan. Alan A. Obviously. Alan uh, the uh, egg. A resident yeah. of Linden, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your feet so he's sitting in there, and he's gonna. He's, he's gonna, gonna jump. see uh, you know how well this works. Now you see, we have to make Alan jump. Alan must jump. Okay. at the, the last moment. And, and we have a system here, a device. Oh, okay. This lever will allow Alan to jump, you see, oh. just at the last moment. Very nice. Now, so, uh, note that Al can jump. Yeah, he's fine. And he can land. He and seems... His, you know, his, he, he absorbs yeah. there just as though your legs will. And you see, he's not uh, yeah, broken you got at him, all. He's got him on a little, little padding right here that yeah, he can... Uh, okay. Simulated Al legs we got there. So Alan is going to be our stunt guy who's going to go plunge to, you know, to imminent, we'll you know, scientific analysis mm. in this... Uh, a datum. A datum. Okay, a datum. great. So right, I'm, i, I got to tell you, I'm rooting for Alan. I really want this to work. Well, yeah. we've, we've hauled Alan now to the very top of the tower. This okay. could be, in your mind's eye, could be... Uh, the Columbia Tower. Say, so, okay, so then he's at that level where there's that private bar that you can't get into unless you're a member. That's Although right. Yeah. I'm not. I understand you are. <laughs> yeah, John. You understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You understand a lot of stuff. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's see. I'm rooting for Alan. Come on, Alan. Come yeah, on, I have make. a device here. Yeah, come on. Oh, the device. Okay. I have a device here that will allow all the safety systems we use in the United States and the cable to fail simultaneously for the purposes of this, this right. thought experiment. Come on, Alan. Let's go. Come on, Alan. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, well. So it doesn't look too good for... Uh, Jeez, doesn't Had a great good. fall there. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think uh, everyone would like to see the Almost Live Instant Replay. Oh, you? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's see that. Do we have Let's that? Yeah. Do we have that, Steve? Let's see. Oh, there he is. Uh, you oh, see. Okay. Oh. 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 The jumping up is fine. It's that last contact so. that gets you. <laughs> so yeah. apparently we'd look a lot like Alan if that happened. Is that right? Well, yeah. We did different... Well, oh, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed in that. Uh, boy, that's that sort of blows a lot of fantasies for me. But uh, is there any is there any way that people could possibly survive a fall well, like this? Well, John, uh, actually, actually, there sort of is. There sort of is a way that a person could pull this off. And, and I'll show you. I'll show you. But in you order to do that, I have to just take a, a quick trip to All the right. Smith Tower. Okay, so take your jacket off. You're going outside. All right. We're now waiting for Bill to arrive at the Smith Tower. Uh, I suppose you should be there right about now. We go now to Bill Nye at the Smith Tower. Thank you. In order to survive a hypothetical elevator crash like that, you'd have to be able to do something like this. 
So you'd have all this kinetic energy, which results from your potential energy, which is directly proportional to the height of the building, the height of the fall. So uh, what you want to do is transfer that energy to the elevator car uh, through your jump, you see, but that would be very difficult. You'd have to be able to... <laughs> you'd have to be able to jump the entire height of the building, just about. Now, you see, that's very unlikely. Hmm. Coming back in, he's returned to the building. Hi, Phil. Okay. If, if I'm able to correctly assess what I just saw there on video, what you're saying is that in order for someone to survive that, they have to jump all the way from the ground floor to the top of the building to survive a crash like this. Yeah, uh, just about, yeah. Hmm. Now, now, in general, there's two problems with that. Okay. First of all, even the best of us really aren't in that kind of shape. Not, no, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael no, Jordan. Spud Webb, neither one of them nah. could really pull it off. And okay. then the other thing that always seems to go wrong with something like that, elevators have a roof, you know, and, oh, and right, so you'd yeah. be inhibited there so right away. Cuts yeah. it off yeah. right there. Yeah. So, essentially then, you're, you're the story... You're, you're doomed. You're doomed. Yeah. You're doomed. Yeah. But uh, on the bright side, on the bright side, though, your heirs, the people who survive you, will have a dandy lawsuit to fall back yeah, on, Yeah, so right? you see... So you see, it is a positive story. Sort of a happy, a happy ending. ending. Yeah. That's great. So we have a happy ending. Well, thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Really great. Bill Nye, the science guy. We'll be right back. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, This John. is great, though.